Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy, with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. A deck of great glitz. And I was one and one that had the gold, and I had the golden Klimt at one time. And <clears throat> didn't end up agreeing with it and one thing I just really liked and you'll see is I like the faces on the people here they just seemed you know he's young but just more kind of real and mature both um, one thing is as I've been through this deck is that it looks like for some cards they used the same model repeatedly so that's slightly jarring, but hopefully it won't affect readings. Low Scarabeo. Yep, it's a little white book. It's actually written by um, Linnea Weatherstone, though. Artwork by Julia F. Masalia. And instructions by Linnea Weatherstone. So, typical low scarabeo, except that it's Linnea Weatherstone. Who I don't think usually writes for low scarabeo. So we're going to flip through these probably fairly quickly. Just give them a gander and see all of the glitz. Now the pattern seems to be the same on all the cards, the pattern that you see there. Well, maybe this one is a little different than that other one. And this is one of the faces that kind of seems to appear repeatedly. Well, yeah, just really pretty, a really pretty deck. I wanted to do the walkthrough of it. So she actually does not have very much glitz. I'm sure there's a reason for that being kind of in the misty lands um, but anyway yes I'm wanting to start to use this deck but I didn't want to shuffle it until I had done a walkthrough but yes it's Empress. is there anything down in her wheat no oh, maybe it's all just the top of the card that has the glitz but you know she looks um, what is in her hand? Is it a shell? What does she have in her hand? Um, you know, she looks fairly mature. She doesn't look either, you know, she could be 30 years old. She doesn't look super young. She looks like somebody who could take control of the situation. Why the Emperor always has to look so much older than the Empress, I don't know, but um, here he is. Looking very Emperor, actually looking actually kind of um, Hierophantish, but there he is, the Emperor. And here is the Hierophant. And I think his face also reminds me of one of the one of the kings. And see these people down here are more distinguished um, in, in their differences than in a typical Rider Waite Smith. The lovers. They stand out more than the trees do in this particular rendition and the angel is pretty overpowering there. I kind of like how um, human the faces on the sphinxes look. Yep, the chariot. And so he only has little details on him as well. 
But then the super glitzy strength card. And again, you know, she doesn't look like just a maiden. She looks like a more experienced person. Yeah, even the lantern's got some glitz in it for the hermit. I like the foliage around the hermit. I don't know why that would make a difference, but I do like that. And it's a pretty classic um, Wheel of Fortune here. Justice. The Hanged Man is also very golden. So I have to wonder how they decided which cards they would make super, super gold. And yeah, good old death. It's interesting, you know, this addition of the, the woman more trying to protect the child. Temperance is pretty darn glitzy. The devil is a pretty static devil, you know, they're just kind of standing there. And he's looking very devilish, hairy. A very familiar tower. Except we don't see the lightning. It's implied, but it's we're not seeing the lightning strike. The star card. And this one has blue behind the sparkle or gold, giving it that nighttime effect. The moon card. The sun card. Pretty funny looking sun back there. The child looks more natural though. You know, sometimes people have mentioned the child looks kind of weird and creepy. That that child doesn't strike me that way. Judgment. The world, the Ace of Cups, it's just radiant. The sweet, dark haired couple. And I think this deck, although it has you know, people with different hair colors. I think it does have to, it leans toward having a little more dark haired people. The Bacchanal, maybe? Looks like the grapes. It's not water they're drinking. It's interesting because they've got, you know, this cup clearly had something else in it. Water and wine? I'm not sure. Typically sweet six. like that dragon's about to nab him <laughs> while he's looking at something else. It's like, I'm going to reach for that laurel leaf. <coughs> Excuse me. That laurel wreath and the dragon is going to snap at him as he does so. Think again, buddy. The eight, 
again with that nighttime blue there. So very Rider Waite Smith. But with some just more ornate with some glitz in there. Now there's a weird looking kid. <laughs> A very reflective, sort of dissatisfied looking page of cups. His, his, I don't know if that's a cape or what is coming around the back there, looks like water, so that's an interesting touch. The night. The queen. So this is real different to me, to, to not to have the queen looking at me and it's like she's guarding that cup, like stay away from my cup. This is my cup and you can't have it. It's very different than the typical um, queen who's super focused on the cup and you could probably go snap your fingers in her ears and she wouldn't budge. You know? The king. And on to the pentacles. Again, the glory of the ace. This guy looks, <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, St. Vitus' dance or something. Like he's dancing on hot sand. He's really got his knees up, hopping. A bit of a strange pose here. Nothing wrong with it, but he looked like he was definitely really getting ready to whack something <clears throat> when these guys showed up and interrupted him. The four. I do kind of miss the city behind. Um, and he's got a crown. And I don't think the regular four... Does he have a crown on his head? I don't know. Yeah, so here the man looks older. This almost looks like a man and his, an older man and his daughter. Um, but in any case, there they are. In their destitution. I think it's interesting in the in the usual six of pentacles do they have aren't they both pretty much the same whereas these two seem to be in different stages of destitution and he's giving to the one who's in the least or he is at the moment that the, that the card is depicting This seven. The eight. The beautiful nine. She looks like she's really making up to that falcon there. <laughs> Which is kind of amusing. The ten. Two dogs, oh my goodness, and only one child. The page, the pages, thus far the pages kind of have a solemn look to them. The night. So we had the Although this, I mean, this knight for a knight of pentacles, this horse is moving along. 
it's not the it's not the plotting that we normally see Um, but I was noting the color of the horses. So Knight of Cups had a white, Knight of Pentacles has a brown, so I'm just, I'll be curious to see what happens. And this is, I think this is a really lovely Queen of Pentacles. She just looks very cozy. And even though she's outside, she just looks, she just looks very cozy. The king looks a little on the severe side, but kings kings often do. Another glorious ace. And a glorious two. And a glorious three. So some of these, to me, these are kind of midway between. So the Rider Waite Smith would show you a little further back. So to me, it's between the Rider Waite and say, um, uh, is it the Morgan Greer that shows everything kind of close up or the Aquarian Tarot t tends to really zoom in on something? Um, and this is kind of in between those two. You know, so this isn't, you know, where you can't see the people, but it's not completely obscuring the background. Um, And here are the guys <laughs> practicing with their staves. And the victor riding home, different, again, a different perspective, riding toward us. Pretty traditional seven. Although now we've got, normally I think there's two that are between the legs, and now it's three. <laughs> the glitzy eight. Are those butterflies? Or are they just, yeah, there's butterflies. The nine. Looking suitably suspicious. The 10, well, he can't even pick his up, and he looks like he's looking behind him like somebody is hounding him. Oh, this is... <laughs> so this page of wands to me, so the pages are a little weird in this deck. I don't think it's going to bother me too much, but he looks, he looks like he should be in the Seven of Swords. He looks kind of sneaky. The rearing wild, and this is a reddish horse, yes. <clears throat> but let me see, is it is the color that much different than the yeah. Brown for earth, red for fire. I guess we can't have a blue horse for cups, so they made it white. <clears throat> she looks quite sultry. And he looks sort of stuck up. But you never know what kind of a face you're going to get on one of the kings. <laughs> The glorious Ace of Swords. The Two. Oh my goodness, there's an awful lot of glitz in the Three. 
of swords. That's a little surprising. But. Um, it looks like most of the glitz in this is in the stained glass window. Four, three, four. Five it's in the stormy sky. The six. Oh, here's, and he's pretty creepy too. The nine, again, implying the night with that blue. Ten. So I, you know, in the regular right away at Smith, I don't think we see the person's face at all. But for some reason, I always thought it was it seemed to be somebody older. So just that the face is turned the other way. But this looks like um, a young person. And this is still painful to look at. But at least some of the swords don't seem to be directly in the person's back. So be thankful for small mercies. A suitably aggressive page. We're back to a white horse, which is, of course, traditional for the Knight of Swords. The Queen is interesting because she does look thoughtful and kind of oddly seems to be fingering her sword. And this looks very much like the guy who was the King of Pentacles. And, you know, there's stuff falling everywhere, which is interesting. Almost as though, I know that it's associated with wind, but this almost makes me feel like with falling leaves. That, it, you know, usually it's associated with winter. With the falling leaves, I would be more inclined to um, associate it with uh, fall. But let me, where is that? King of Pentacles. Am I imagining things? Am I imagining things or am I not imagining things? Maybe this is him 10 years later, 30 and 40. Um, Where's in the King of Cups kind of looks completely different to me, longer faced. All right. So there it is, the Golden Art Nouveau in all its glamour. Beautiful backings also, very beautiful backings. Um, very um, kind of, to me, kind of Frank Lloyd Wright-ish, or Tiffany's, I guess. I, I don't know. My, my memory is it's pretty scrambled. Oh, I can do it. I can do it with this. So you might ask yourself, totally off topic, why do I want to bridge? I want to bridge. Um, because of the, when I bend the cards in the riffle, that bends them back the other way, kind of putting them back on an even keel. So here I'm bending them this way, and I don't want a deck that ends up being super bowed that way. So if you do this, you're bending them back. This, this deck 
actually has a bias curved in this direction. Um, you probably can't tell. It's slight. But even slight makes it more difficult for me to shuffle them. But they do shuffle. So let's see. Golden Art Nouveau. Let's ask you. I'm going to do. A nine card spread. And you can just tell me what's up with me <laughs> right now. I'm going to riffle it one more time. And then I'm going to split it in the middle. I'm going to split. Oh, that was a strange split. <laughs> but here we go. But I end up with getting my wish back. Um, probably not going to be able to do it like that. I'm going to have to do it like this. Celebration. Two queens, and I've got that slide boots queen there. Oh, followed by the king. Guess I need to do more shuffling. Um, but the rest are pretty, pretty well shuffled. What comes after the king? The two of cups. Yeah. I've actually seen this, something like this, in, you know, I wa I'm a Cancer, so I will watch Cancer readings on YouTube. And this setup, I think it was the King and Queen of Swords with this Queen of Pentacles in the middle, um, I have seen recently. The Two of Cups. So I'm going to think for a second. Um, primarily about what it's showing me. You know, is it showing me tomorrow? What I'm seeing here, especially with this, is that this is probably a reference to the weekend. With an implication that people are having to somehow battle to get together. Or that there's some competition there. So, and I can see this making sense. So, if we uh, I guess we're almost to the weekend, aren't we? Tomorrow will be Thursday. So that's how I'm going to take it. This is the weekend. So this is the most recent. So this would kind of be tomorrow and then Friday. So I can see this as me being on my guard. Um, I'm not expecting... I work from home, so I'm not going anywhere particularly, but I'm not expecting that much in the way of camaraderie, which is how I would interpret this. Most of my my day t tomorrow will be preoccupied with work, and I'm not expecting any sort of joyful camaraderie or group lunches or anything like that. So I'm going to take this 
to be um, my dogs. <clears throat> my dogs. And so if it rains tomorrow, which it might, and we have the clouds here, um, there might be there might be some stir crazy activity with my dogs. Uh, and this, actually, I can kind of see as amusing. I don't expect to be struck penniless tomorrow. But I have started to do some walking. Um, just in my neighborhood. And it's this kind of walking. <laughs> It's healing kind of walking. Um, so I'm going to take this in sort of a literal sense. I'm going to do some walking. Um, and it's walking that is intended to heal. Because I haven't walked in gosh, a few months now. I haven't done just simple walking. And I'm finally feeling well enough to do that. So I'm trying to get out there and... Soak up some health, do some healthy activities, get the blood running. Not even running, just walking, just some circulation. <laughs> circulation is good. And then Friday, is this energy. For me, I think the Queen of Pentacles, for some reason, I'm thinking of cleaning the house. And it could just literally be sunny out, but I'm thinking um, that this, again, is pets. But that's where that comes from. Maybe I need to brush my pets. So this, this is ending up being a mystery to me in terms of what will happen. I don't know if a woman, somebody who's practical, is going to give me some kind of insight or idea, especially if we see this as shedding light on something. Um, I'm just getting, I'm starting to get a feeling that this person, if I look in this direction, that this would be me, like, oh, I have this bright idea, let's do this, and this person says, whether male or female, that's, that's not practical, that's not going to work. <laughs> So it's like she blocks my she blocks my idea, which is, you know, it's nothing new. It's not a tragedy, you know. Um, in fact, you know, sometimes I'll just tell people, okay, I'm, I'm going to do some brainstorming here. I know not all of my ideas are practical. They're not all going to work. But just to get the ball rolling, I'm going to... Throw out some ideas there, some bright ideas, and I'll let you decide what um, what will fly and what won't fly. But I do feel like this is a victory of some kind. Um, it could actually just be a conversation with my mother. I mean, I don't. You know, because I'm 56 years old, I don't think of myself in these terms, but we do have a child here headed toward a mother. My mother does spend quite a bit of time sitting these days. She has trouble being up. Still in good health, but just not very limber. And uh, so I may be calling and asking her for some idea or talking to her regarding something. So, which means 
if this is Friday, it means that Friday is probably going to be pretty calm, really, which is great. That, that suits me. I'll take that. Um, you know, so this tomorrow looks more active than I was expecting it to be. And then when I'm battered and weary of my work, I'll, I'll log out and take a walk. My walk around the block takes about 10 minutes. And I'll take my 10-minute walk around the block to attempt to revive myself after all of the troubles and excitement, the arguments and the celebrations. You know, it's like I, I don't even want to be inside the church. I just want to go for a walk. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then the weekend, of course, looks very lovely. The weekend looks quite happy. Maybe they're overcoming this. All right, so there it is. And now I can start shuffling and using my Golden Art Nouveau and... We'll see if it, uh-oh, there's the devil, popping right out. Um, and uh, I think I think this is telling me that it's time. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's time to go let my dogs out. <laughs> that's what it's telling me. Yes, that's right. I am the devil these days. I am the devil. Um, but anyway, yes, I can start using this deck and see if it wins my heart over um, my trusty Centennial, my Smithwaite Centennial. It's actually just sort of comforting to know that I have another, you know, essentially right awake clone. that does appeal to me visually quite a bit. I have some mini decks that do, but I think this is only the second um, what I would call a true Rider Waite Smith clone that is a full size deck. So, um, so there's that. If you've hung out with me this long, you are amazing. Thank you very much, and I will be back again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.